You can smell the achievements of Turkish defense industry by Turkey's first indigenous multi-road helicopter, the T-625 that enjoyed its first flight powered by locally built engine in this year. Certifications and development test flight of the T-625 are continuing successfully. The homegrown engine has been integrated into the helicopter. Vice General's Manager Yildirim Kemal Elakshi told the Anadolu Agency on the sidelines of Turkey's Technofest event. The engine was developed by TEI Engine Industry. Elakshi noted that when Gopu T625 began using the TEI engines, Turkey will be among six or seven nations in the world that truly builds helicopters with local resources. Although some countries develop helicopters, but they do this with emphasis on joint ventures such as taking their engines and dynamic systems from a certain helicopter and adapting them to be their own. He further said stressing that the gearbox, blade, rotor, the hub system, avionic system and the landing gear of the Goku are already locally designed and produced. In September 2018, the T625 rotorcraft powered by 2 CTS 804A turboshaft engine completed its maiden flight. This engine is also fitted in T129 attack gunship, which is built by the Thai under license from Italian British Agasta Westland. The T625 was earlier equipped with the LST ETC engines built by the Light Helicopter Turbine Engine Company or LSTEC, a joint venture between Rolls-Royce and Honeywell. Each engine can produce a 1,014 kW of power. The T804A is an export version of CTS engine which Turkey selected to power Turkish light utility helicopter. Pakistan ordered 30s of T129 for $1.5 billion in 2018. Deliveries was being hit due to non-availability of engines LSTEC but for now domestic turboshaft engines powering both T129 and the T625. Pakistan can expect the shipments of first of its roadcraft soon.